Hello, my gorgeous Ophiuchus, and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Um, amazing, uh, just straight out the gate this morning. We have the lovers and the four of wands, um, and we'll start here. It's someone has realized that they want you to be part of their life. They want you to be part of that stable foundation that they're growing towards abundance in this life. And when I say abundance, it doesn't have to be just monetary. I feel like it's in all areas. You just feel abundant. You feel like it draws in that really gorgeous, secure energy. So it could bring in that monetary wealth. It could bring in that emotional fulfillment, that happiness, that joy, that warmth. Um, um, and that growth, you know, that experiencing and expansion with someone that brings you joy and happiness, someone you can dance through life with. And I feel like that's what's coming in. Um, and it could be coming in this week. Now, the funny thing is, I want to kind of tether these two together. Um, this is what we've been wanting, right? Um, I feel like someone's been wanting this with you. It has taken them quite a bit longer to get to you with this offer. I'm looking at all three of these cards came out in a clump. All of these are night, right? This was day. So we kind of feel like we've been waiting a lot longer to have our happily ever after or the beginning of our next chapter in our story, right? We've been waiting, maybe even to the point where we kind of assumed it might not even be coming in at this point, right? Um... So on the flip side, there's these two uh, soulmates here, these two little lovers and or potential lovers. And there's all this growth in these cups, right? So there's the highs and the smiles and the beginnings of this romantic endeavor, right? And then when we flip it on this side, there's someone still looking out the window. Now this is, I feel like that young man and he's looking now, there's still growth in these cups, but it's like, it, he's looking to see if there's still growth to be had, and there is. So it just didn't come into fruition in the time period that maybe you assumed it would. Um, but here it is, and here it comes, and look how it's coming in. Passion, that night. I really love it. So let's see. Oh, wow, look at that. Somebody wants to offer that Ace of Cups. They're really coming. <laughs> I feel like this person's really been looking into you. I feel like th maybe this person, it took a while for them to get their courage up. I feel like you might have even had your back to this person coming in because you assumed maybe they weren't interested or they weren't coming. I feel like this person's been doing their research, not only about ways to come in towards you, ways to improve their life. I feel like they've just been really on their their glow up and their grow up game is kind of what I want to say. Um, whether this is masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. Um, I feel like the person coming towards you has been looking into you, really trying to, I feel like stalking your social medias, trying to find out if you're with someone, trying to find out if you're available, if maybe you're even interested in, um, yeah, that any passionate movement forward. Um, you know, I feel like you've had your back to the dating game maybe for a little while. Maybe you've been self-focused on your own new beginning, right? I'm seeing with that uh, stork there. Um, I can't really put this one down, but I do feel like there, there was a sense of putting this... Um, this situation on hold... Uh, as far as a family, I don't know if I can, I'm going to have to put this something over it. Okay. So that option to have that family and that coming back around that opportunity to have a future with someone, um, is coming back around. And I feel like somebody's going to be, uh, I wanted to say sneaking up, but, um, speaking up, I feel like there's both, I feel like this person is kind of trying to sneak in. Yeah. They've got that magician. They've got all the tools necessary. I feel like they want to celebrate with you. I feel like they're a little nervous about speaking, whatever this is that they want to say to you. I keep on, yeah, they want to put the work in. They view you as the empress. So whether you're masculine or feminine, I do feel like this person is seeing you in this really high elevated type of way. And I feel like they're elevating themselves because they want to be able to sit next to you. Yeah, they want to create that balance in the situation. I don't know where it just went, but I saw it. Yeah, they want this Phoenix energy. So now this could be a person from the past, 
but it doesn't have to be. And when I say past, I don't mean it has to be a past lover that you had a falling out with. This could just be a past person that you saw in passing or, um, you know, maybe you had a crush on. It doesn't have to be, although it could be someone you had something with and, you know, varying different degrees of how big or, you know, how long you were with this person. I feel like they are going to communicate. I feel like this person really wants to just have this passionate movement forward, this rebirthing. So whether it's an old thing coming back to life, sparking again, or this is someone's own internal flame coming back up and, and burning, you know, it's with that new opportunity. I feel like this person wants to give to you now. I feel like they might have been... Uh, a little selfish with their time or just not kind of ready. Maybe you took it as them being selfish with their own time, like not sharing with you. But look, these opportunities now are everywhere and I feel like this person can't say no. Maybe they um, focused on their work for quite a while to get their, their foundation really solid before they offer you that golden opportunity to build further with them. They might have just wanted to get themselves in order before they stepped forward. Um, yeah. I'm seeing that, you know, they chose the wand to create their life first. They wanted to build from the ground up. They wanted to make sure that they had something to offer when they were ready to offer it. You know, when they were ready to give their, that loyalty and that, um, that love. I feel like this is like unconditional love and loyalty coming in. Yep, there's that 10 of cups energy. I love it. Um, yeah. Yeah. For some of you, this is a rebirthing type of energy here um, from death comes rebirth. And then for others of you, yeah, some secrets could come out with that situation. I can't leave it down. I'm going to fix all these cards very soon. I've got something coming <laughs> so I can fix all the nudity in the card. So, you know, YouTube doesn't flag me. Um, yeah, really gorgeous energy. They're choosing you and they're coming forward because they want to nurture this. Um, I feel like they're taking the action steps. Could be doing that this week as well. Yeah, justice in the situation. I feel like this is justice in love coming towards you. And I do want to say that it is coming towards you later than you assumed it would. Um, this has been a really big theme. Yeah, I feel like you've been holding it on your own, doing your own thing, shining, staying in your own lane, growing and becoming um, whole all on your own. I feel like you've been doing that work um, and maybe you're on your your path to creating monetary gain for yourself, right? Um, but I do feel like this person is coming in and they see you as a very valuable, um, very valuable person to have in their life. They see you as that husband material, that wifey material. I really love this. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy off of you, guys. Wow. You've got the real deal coming in. That's what it looks like to me. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Your initials and their initials. I saw myself pouring. So uh, what that means to me is if you don't see your initials or your person's initials, but that message resonated with you, take that. Always trust your intuition. For some of you, this is an X coming back around. And I do hear new, and I see that you knew. Um, so it could be a new person or someone that you've dated before or had something with before. All right. I heard something about Gen Z. So that could be for someone. Oh my goodness. I do hear Patty. Oh, I also hear Paddies. So it could be some, somebody could be coming through around um, or on St. Paddy's Day. That could be for some, if you're getting here around about the time that I post this. These readings are always, always, always um, timeless. So whenever you get to a reading or something calls to you, it could be for you in that moment. All right. Somebody could be, somebody could have given you a very small offer in the past, like extra small, and you might not have realized that it was even an offer at the time. Um, we have a K, an N, and an E, so that could be for someone as a hint. 
Um, doesn't have to be, of course, but um, I feel like they're coming. That person in the reading may be coming back in with a very large offer um, versus maybe what they were able to do. Oh wow, what are we doing here? That was very small. Um, let's see. Tiny little elephant. Yes, small movement forward. You know, I was saying like extra small. I feel like this person, it was a stable offer. It was just a very small stable offer. I feel like it was one that went without your seeing it. Um, this person had a ton of passion for you. Um, this is that like that lightning rod, that chemistry. I feel like this person might have had to change their life. They could have been in a toxic situation in the past and were only able to give you like a small offer, just little bits and pieces maybe of their energy or their time. Just know that they had so much more for you. I feel like they were carrying that heart for you, but they never said anything. Yeah, look, we have that key to love with the heart on top. Um, I don't know if this person had some healing. I kind of feel like the key to that love, maybe that was kind of, or that chemistry that was going back and forth between you and this person, um, I feel like made them want to heal certain parts of their inner house that were maybe um, not the healthiest or kind of toxic. Or like I said, they had to get out of a certain uh, situation with someone and transform that energy before they can make a bigger offer than just, you know, a, a touch of their time or their a little bit of their energy. Um, I really love this. I feel like off of you, guess you have an amazing uh, week ahead. It does look like that person coming in looks to be a really, really great opportunity for a really wonderful future. I feel like this person is very, very promising. Okay, that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.